Hey everyone, welcome to Nerding IO. I'm JD, and today we're going to continue our MCP series, specifically looking at resources. And the example we're going to do is using an LLM full text. We're going to scrape either your own site or potentially like a sales uh, prospect site and turn that into a chatbot. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this website and turn it into a chatbot which is pretty simple task, um, but we're gonna do it using MCP resources. So this is a side project that a buddy and I have where we do um, different games and one-off uh, kind of like standalone projects. So the, uh, the concept will be, we're trying to either prospect this or we could actually turn this into a chatbot for our site and use NADEN and we're actually gonna use MCP. So I'm just going to kind of go through a quick demo of what I'm talking about. So basically we have this agent and we have a resource. And this resource is static. We're looking at documentation for I-75 corridor. And so what we can do here is we can say something like, what was the latest project? And it's going out, getting information from the resource and pulling it back. And so now it's showing the, the different projects that uh, have come out. We can also do things like if we were prospecting, we could say have contact. Yeah. So now we get information about email. And so this isn't actually going out and pulling from the site. What we did is we actually scraped all of that information in one go with a LLM. Real quick, everyone, if you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps more than you know. Also, please go check out Text Yourself. It's a simple application that I built that helps keep me on track. All you have to do is SMS different tasks and reminders that you need to be sent back to yourself. With that, let's get back to it. Uh, full text. And what that means is that we go out and we collect all the information from this site. And then we turned it into a resource on an MCP server that we're already using. So, in, and then just have like a simple prompt. So in our resource, we're actually using the uh, MCP SSE local. We have that running and then we're telling it to go out and grab this URI. Can also use the uh, you know AI emoji. But what does all this mean? So if we go into our server and we take a look at uh, how we're actually serving this file up. So we have our tools from last time. We have a couple different services, and we're saying we want to pull this file. So the way that I made this file, we'll go ahead and delete it is using firecrawl and uh, doing a LLM full text. So I'm just going to use uh, the command line and actually npx into this. So you can see the command that I ran last time. All I did was npm generate the output folder and the URL that I want to uh, scrape. This is going to scrape the entire website and put it into a single text file. And then we're going to use that text file as a resource in our AI. So you do also have to pass an API key here, but um, this is the, the actual call. You can also hit it through an API, but I'm just going to do it through uh, the CLI. So this will take a second and then it'll start generating. So there we go. Now we've already got it back. And in our TXT, we have our documentation, we have 575 quarter, over full text. And all it is is markdown. It's literally taking the entire site and putting it into a markdown uh, file that we can then take and put into our context. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we look at this server and we have two different resources and we're pulling this information back. So really all we're saying is this first one is just a config. It's just a straight like flat text example. And then the second one is we're basically taking a log the path for a file. We're then saying that's our context. 
we're defining our mean type. Remember that resources can have different mean types, and we're going to kind of go into what that looks like in a different video. We can then serve that up still using our file context, and then we can actually pipe that into our system. So if we go and look at the uh, way that this resource flows back and forth, and we look at the spec, basically we have our client, we have our resource discovery, it's going to go get us a list of resources. Based on that list of resources, we can then do resource access. We're going to then read that resource, it will give us the context of that resource, and we can then use that in our client or in our agent. There's also some advanced pieces, so we can actually subscribe. So if any of those files are then updated, or maybe there's log files or something that's in the folder, we can actually get notified back in our client that something was updated. Right? And that's where this we would subscribe to the resource, and then as that resource was actually updated, we'd get a response back to let us know to pull the list. So if we want to see this in the inspector, what we can do is we can connect to our local host. We can also go out to the, the Docker implementation that we did in the uh, previous video. We're going to go ahead and connect. We can get a list of our resources. We can see right that we're going to read. This is the configuration. It's just simple text. And then with the documentation, it knows to actually pull this port or this is our URI and then we know it's plain text and then here we go we have the markdown and so that's how we actually provide context to our uh, agent so if we want to use this URI uh, we can go back to NAN and that's where our resource is this is where we got our resource URI and this is how we were able to pull that context back into our chat so if you kind of notice what happened was it was starting with our chat, going to our agent, grabbing information from the resource, pulling that back, and putting it into the model. So it's very similar to like a tool, except a tool. our tools have been doing actions for us, whether that be hitting an API or, or something else. Uh, resources work the same way on SSE as they do as standard in and standard out, uh, but they're incredibly useful, and it's one of the things that I think is really awesome where you can actually pull information back directly in without being a, a, um, a, a, a tool. So one of the, the things that they kind of talk about is, again, you can use things like databases, you can use um, images, PDFs, and we'll kind of go through that in the next video. All right, that's it for us today, everyone. So what we went through is actually using Firecrawl to pull in uh, somebody's entire site using and create an LLM full text, and then also turn that into a resource for MCP and connect it into N8N. With that, happy nerding.